sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. We. I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. Shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig! It can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a chair. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. Let's put Willie my down. dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. You look like a fairy tale princess. Right, let's go to the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. There you go, bye. See you later. Okay. 
For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie, and I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance classes and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lottie shouted. Oh, Music! Right Music, please, Mr. Tonka. Mr. Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, OK? So Miss Lottie shouted, trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lottie shouted, leaves. Here and there. OK, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Miss Lottie shouted, skip! I didn't like Miss Lottie shouting. Lambs. I didn't like Miss Lottie at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr. Honky and his piano. I didn't like dancing class. Hey Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on! I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air. Bicycle time and pedal. Pedal, 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 whee! Horses, right gallop and tri Hey Tig, she wants us to be horses! Click, clop, click, clop, click, clop, trot, 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 trot. Yeah! Phew, Tig, that was so much fun and pooped. Your turn. But the shouting. Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought, Mr. Honky's piano is very loud and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. Now flap your arms and flap. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Princess Tig. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were here. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willie came too. Hello. Hello. Yes, well. I love my granny. Come on, come on, let's go. What will we have? We'll have some tea, will we? Granny and Daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is Daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about Daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take care Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. See you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a butterfly, the mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, 
I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. It's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said that was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. Oh, Tig, darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my it's goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were we. Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Oh. Mummy said, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I'm sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. Time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished! After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. 
when we went to the angel's room magic. Ting! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me, an Angel. Night night. Night night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times mummy kissed me and I... I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willy. We've been together since we were The haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus, we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh, wow, take look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night, Mummy brushed my hair. Oh my it was all tangly. You're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You won't be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, nursing. The funny lady had bunches, just like mine. Do you like my bunches? You do? You've got bunches like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. Funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. Night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want 
got my bungee. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bungees. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my haircuts. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry. Cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my haircut, my happy, happy haircut. Go for it, Tig. Get your haircut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my haircut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my haircut, my happy, happy haircut. Are you happy with that? Yeah. When the hairdresser saw Willy, he wasn't happy. What's that? Only a toy side. Oh. I like having my haircut. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were me. A birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat at the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going downhill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Ta-da! Not quite 
it's as scary as that. But still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig. Sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... Pedal... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought, so Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie.